Hello friends, today we will see what is the uh, SM4 block cipher and uh, what is the encryption and decryption process uh, in this uh, block cipher and what is the round function and how permutation and nonlinear transformation and linear transformation is used for the for, for performing a uh, round function and how all these uh, transformations are used uh, for the uh, key expansion methodology uh, for which is used for the encryption and decryption uh, process of the SM4 block cipher. So, uh, hello friends. Uh, uh, I am sure that uh, you will uh, understand SM4 block cipher after uh, watching this video. So, if you have questions, then you can uh, write the comments on the uh, below. And if you like the way we presented our SM4 block cipher. Uh, you can uh, uh, like us our video and you can share it with your friends and uh, uh, so, so that we have uh, more knowledge of uh, the audience and more knowledge of the uh, uh, we can say area in this area uh, specifically the network security so please uh, without wasting much time uh, we should move to the video so here uh, SM4 block cipher. What is um, um, we can say? You know, if you if you have uh, AES block cipher, uh, it is a similar block cipher, right? And um, it is mostly used in cryptography, as I told you before, and network security. So, SM block cipher is known as symmetric key block cipher. Symmetric key means same key will be used for the encryption and decryption, and in fact same round function will be used for encryption and decryption without any alteration and block cipher means um, we have an input of 128 bits if we have a larger input we will divide into multiple blocks of 128 bit and we will generate a similar uh, cipher text uh, of uh, 128 bit in uh, comparison to our corresponding uh, plain text uh, will generate corresponding cipher text in the whole block of the input, right? So then we will have a master key, uh, which is uh, used for the produ producing randomness in the function, and so that no one can cheat uh, the method, right? So uh, it was introduced in 2006 and became the national standard of uh, China. Uh, in 2016 and uh, uh, most of the description I have written over here uh, we can uh, go through um, um, and you can see uh, it uh, um, and pause the video for more uh, we can say description reading uh, if you are uh, having a dis disturbance in uh, understanding the voice or uh, reading the description late right so um, as compared to the AS AS uh, has 128 bit operations across the whole process of encryption or the whole process of decryption right but in this case we have uh, all operations that are performed in 32 bit right every uh, operation will be 32 bit operation uh, in this uh, sm4 block cipher right it is uh, having 32 uh, rounds and 32 round keys um, how these round keys are generated we can see here this is a key expansion method that is used for the generation of uh, keys right and these keys are generated from the master key that we provide as an input uh, to the uh, SM4 block cipher, right? So overall, uh, we have 128 uh, lookups, uh, four lookups per round uh, in the encryption process, and uh, same will be applied for the decryption, and uh, same will be applied for the uh, key expansion method. So. Uh, the operations, uh, uh, talking about the operations, uh, we have uh, bitwise OR and left circular shift or main operation that are performed in this block cipher and nothing else. Like in AES, we have uh, Galvas multiplication or we can say finite field multiplication, but in this case, no finite field multiplication is, is involved. So, uh, how this process is uh, uh, he, process is performed right so first of all we are given a uh, plain text of 128 bit right uh, 
uh, as I told you before, if large block will be divided into the smaller uh, 128 bit blocks. So then we subdivide this block of 128 bit into 32 bit words, right? And each word is given a name, which is x0, x1, x2, and x3. And for every round, we will have four x's and one round key. You can see from the next round uh, demonstrations over here. You have five inputs and we, we are having four outputs. And four outputs are not actually the four outputs. Output is only single one, x4. The other three values are just propagating this from this function and they are coming forward for the next function, right? So actually we have a single output um, in this uh, SM4 block cipher uh, per round. So 32 rounds will generate 32 values, right? x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4, x5, and x33, so on, and x, x34, x35. So up till this point, we have x35. And <coughs> the previous four values, x34, x33, and x32, uh, they all are concatenated over here, but the last round is reverse round. It will just reverse the words x35 will be here as a whole not inverted not byte shifted not bit shifted it will uh, be uh, we can say uh, reversed uh, as a word not reversed as a byte or bit so x35 x34 x33 and x32 in this way this last reverse round will work it will just reverse the words Nothing else. It is very so simple. It's, it's, it's not the round, I can say. We, we are just reversing the words and, and giving us an, an, as an output. Right? So this is our cipher text that is generated uh, from, by concatenating the last four rounds uh, X that were generated uh, in, in these uh, rounds. Right? So in this way, we get the cipher text. So the plain text will be input and we will get the cipher text as an output and every round will be using a round key so uh, no i should explain that encryption process and, dec and decryption process i have explained you encryption process on this diagram but i have written over here the pseudocodes for the encryption and decryption i will just go through them um, just for the convenience right so we have a plain text and we are we are dividing into x0 x1 x2 and x3 and then we will pass this plain text one by one uh, as shown in this uh, uh, diagram to the round function that is known as f and it is iterated over 32 times from 0 to 31 and it is generating us the next value x4 then x5 then x6 then x7 and so on and once we are done with the round functions we just have the reversal of words and we just take four last words and just can coordinate them to or join them to generate our cipher text so this is the whole process of encryption and similarly in the case of decryption is actually the mirror of the encryption process right and same function, uh, the round function is used here or here, right? In this case, we have the cipher text, which is x35, x34, x33, x32, and we are having the rounds in reverse, like like we have 31st round as a first round, and 30th round as a second round, and so on, to the zeroth round as a last round, right? And we are having a 30, x35, 34, 33, and 32 over here, and just we will pass these four to the same these five to the same round function and we will generate the next x right so what is the difference just we have x of i over here x of i plus four over here but in this case we a case we are, are are having x of i plus four here and x of i here because we are moving downward and we are having these four values x35 x34 x33 x32 right in case of x i31 if we have i31 we will have x35 here 
x34 here, x33 here, and x32 here. We have all these four values and round key of 30, uh, 31. And we are just moving backward. Moving back, backward means if we have these values as an input, we will have new value which is x31, then x30, then so on x1 and x0. Zeroth round will produce zeroth value. We are just uh, having the same, uh, following the same pattern, but, but the arrows are in the reverse order, right? And in the case of encryption, we are given x0, x1, x2, and x3, and we are generating x4, 5, 6, and so on, uh, up to 35. In case of decryption, we are given these values and we are generating the x31, uh, x30 and so on up to x0. So as a, uh, we can say, in short, we have same encryption and decryption processes but are in the reverse order and there is nothing else. They are just, uh, we can say, a mirror of each other. So up to this point, I think you have uh, understood what is the uh, SM4 blocks effort and how the encryption and decryption is performed using the round function and uh, 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 round function is only remaining that uh, the remaining thing that is to be understood for the encryption and decryption and how this key expansion is performed we will see into the next uh, slides right so reverse function is nothing and this uh, process I have explained already explained to you. So please uh, just move to the next, uh, we can say, uh, uh, round function uh, that is f. So what is f and what is key expansion we will see on the next. So round function. Round function as I have shown you the equation before. Uh, it was uh, before it was generic or uh, and that, that generic equation over here written over here right so uh, in this case I have to just uh, replace i with 0 so we will have this uh, equation for the sake of uh, simplification right so once we have so uh, this uh, round function has four x inputs and one round key inputs it has five in, uh, inputs and uh, these inputs are used in this way right we will just uh, zor these four x1 x2 x3 and a round key 0 we will just zor them together and pass it to the you can see from here x0 oh, sorry x1 x2 x3 and round key 0 they all will be zored together and they will be given to the transform function right this is not the addition operation this is zoring operation we can say uh, i have written over here bitwise zor operation right so what is this this is a t that is known as permutation right so this zoring uh, will generate us b and we will pass this b into the transformation that is t transformation permutation and we it, it this permutation will generate us the c output and then we will zor this whole c output with the x0 or we can say x of r to generate x of r plus 4 right so in this way we perform a round function have you understood this we have just five inputs four inputs are zored together and they are passed to the t permutation and after passing it it will generate us a c output and the c output will be bitwise zored with the x0 to generate x of r plus 4 so in this case we perform the whole zor operation or oh sorry a whole round function and generate uh, next x after every uh, round function right so i think you are clear up to now for the um, round function just we use you can see what is the uh, t so i have explained t over here 
it is an invertible invertible transform means uh, invertible means uh, it will be used same in, in, in transform will be used for the encryption and decryption process so it is um, uh, consisting of uh, two steps if we have b as an input i, I as i showed you before so transformation of b will be equal to or we can say consisting of nonlinear transformation of b it will produce us s as shown in this diagram then these s will again be passed to the l that is known as linear transformation like right? lt linear transformation function and this uh, linear transformation function of uh, s will generate as c as an output we see in this, this diagram we can say so if we are given b as an input so it we will pass it to the nonlinear transformation first then it will generate us s then we will pass it to the linear transformation and it will give us c so this is the whole permutation process and now the unknown unknowns are tau and l Tau is the nonlinear transformation that we will see in the next slide, and then is L that is linear transformation that is over here, right? So linear transformation of S, how we can perform it? We are just uh, having uh, S, then we have another variant of S which is uh, uh, rotated uh, twice two bits uh, to the left, then another variant which is uh, rotated. Uh, uh, 10 times then we have another variant which is rated 18 times and the last variant which is rotated 24 times and all these five variants of s are just absorbed together to produce the c so this is the simple uh, shifting and zoring operation of the linear transformation uh, for the production of c from the s right so now the question is how we perform this uh, linear uh, non-linear transform that is tau how we generate s from the uh, b so we see in the slide next slide and uh, that the non-linear transformation is just the uh, sub byte operation that we have studied in the aes block cipher if you have if you know if you don't know it's okay no, nothing uh, th this is nothing a problem right so uh, we have a 32-bit word that is B okay in this case we will divide this B into the four bytes or we can say eight eight bit uh, words smaller words are bytes right so we will uh, we will use these bytes and we will uh, substitute these bytes with the bytes from this table right this is known as s box table and this is different for sm4 block cipher right so the process how, how this is this replacement is uh, this replacement works we know this is an, an 8 bit number right and this 8 bit will be further divided into four four bits lower nibble and upper nibble right and uh, this 8 bit will also be replaced with the lower nibble and upper nibble and so on these four bytes will be uh, then converted into the nibbles and we will byte wise replace bi with si right so how we will have the uh, for example we have b0 over here right so the upper nibble is here upper nibble is four bits and lower nibble is the next next four bits so we will search upper nibble in the rows of this table and lower nibble in the columns of this table right four bits will produce maximum f and in the both cases therefore this table is sufficient for the s box operation uh, or we can say little non linear information for us so uh, uh, for example we have input of uh, ef like if you have bi as ef b0 a or b1 b2 uh, and some number from these four uh, bytes we have e and f four byte of e and four byte of 
f for bits of e and for bits of f we will just replace them in this way e will be searched from the rows which is e over here right then following e we will move to the f column and we will find 84 over here and we will just replace b0 with 84 if we have ef as an as a b, b0 right in similar way we will place uh, replace the values from the table in cross warning to the uh, lower nibble and upper nibble of every byte right so in this case we in this way we we perform the nonlinear transformation it is similar to the as transformation uh, as sub byte operation that we performed in the as so <clears throat> i think you have understood this s box operation we are just uh, not having anything else we are this is we are not having any operation we are just replacing uh, the lower nibble and upper nibble uh, values from the uh, lower nibble and upper nibble of uh, this uh, table and we are just replacing these table values in instead of these b's right in this way we will get uh, s from these uh, b0 b1 b2 and b3 and we will then combine it and we will perform the linear of transformation to complete our process for the round function so in this way we are performing uh, um, the encryption process or we can say round function of the sm4 block cipher and uh, encryption decryption uh, both use the same uh, function right so now uh, i think uh, you are clear of, um, and you have understood what is encryption and what is decryption in the sm4 block cipher and uh, how the inputs and outputs are generated uh, for the plain text and cipher text uh, and um, uh, the uh, how what is the round function and what is the permutation and what is the linear transformation and then what is the non-linear transformation so uh, now uh, this is the time to move for the key expansion methodology uh, which is uh, just uh, we can say uh, this, which is based on these transformations so give me some time to explain you what is the key expansion right so <coughs> it is also performed um, into the 32 rounds same as before we have a uh, encryption process and every round will give us a, a single uh, round key which is rk of 0 rk of 1 and rk of 2 uh, that is on this diagram we have rk 0 rk 1 and rk 2 and rk 3 so on right so <coughs> round function is similar you can see it uh, from the previous slide uh, R key R key of uh, 0 will be equal to K of I plus 4 and K of I uh, K of I plus 1 K of I plus 2 K of I plus 3 will be the inputs to this round function and C K of I will be the input this is constant we will see how this constant is uh, resolved in the next area right so <coughs> the only difference is T dash <coughs> see the equation of the round function here is the equation of the round function right uh, this one the dif here, here was t and the difference is t dash other steps are same uh, we are given uh, x4 sorry uh, we are given x0 x1 x2 and x3 as an input and rk0 as an input and we are generating x4 as an output but in case of uh, round keys or key expansion we are given k0 k1 k2 k3 and ck of 0 as an input and we are generating the k of 4 as an output for the round of 0 if i is 0 in whole equation uh, i have explained to you if we have i of 1 so we will generate uh, a k of 5 using uh, uh, k4 th k3 k2 or n k1 and uh, similarly uh, other round keys are generated <coughs> so what is a t dash the question is what is t dash and how these k's are calculated and how these ck of i is calculated right so k's of uh, coming to the k's first of all so we have a k0 k1 k2 and k3 
calculated over here right they are calculated based on the master key that has given us as an input over here we will just divide this master key into four master keys of mk0 mk1 mk2 and mk3 similar as we have done with the plain text right uh, x0 x1 x2 x3 will be converted uh, the master key will be converted into mk0 mk1 mk2 and mk3 as we have done in the into the round function so these mk's are then sorted with the constants they these are the constants written over here right fk0 fk1 fk2 and fk3 these are the other constants and we are just sorting these constants with the master key words and we are generating the new words which are k0 k1 k2 and k3 so uh, this equation is also the same for the generation of k's and in this way we are generating uh, k's and these k's are used instead of x0 x1 x2 and x3 for the generation of x4 or we can say round key of 0 or round key of 1 so on for every round right then uh, uh, you are clear on now how k's are uh, uh, generated right now uh, the question is how this ck of i is generated so uh, for the ck of i we have uh, this uh, formulation we will uh, divide ck of i into the four bytes because it is, it is a 32 bit word right so we have uh, four of i 4 of i plus 1, 4 of i plus 2, 4 of i plus 3. They all are multiplied by 7 and all are mod, taken mod with 256. Here is 256. For, sorry for misprinting. So, these bytes, 4 into i, 4 into i plus 1, 4 into i plus 2, 4 into i plus i is round. Here I have placed with, with round. For every round, i is here we are using a k of i before we used uh, r's so they are the same r stands for round and here i also stands for round in key expansion we used i uh, instead of r so ck of i ck of i will be generated this way they are bytes so for example if i place 0 over here right so here will be 0 here will be 1 here will be 2 here will be 3 and these the 0 1 2 3 they all will be multiplied by 7 it will give us 0 7 14 and 21 and we will take the mod of 256 with every value so we will have uh, 0 over here 7 will be remain 7 20, 14 will remain 14 and 21 will remain for 21 these are the decimal values we are have just to, to convert these decimal values into the uh, hexadecimal values and then can candidate to, together to form the ck of 0 right so c of k ck of 0 will be generated in this way in this simpler way uh, for ck of 0 we will replace i with 0 and ck of for ck of 1 we will just replace ck of i with 1 and similarly, all for all rounds of for 32 rounds, we will generate all CKF i's. So everything is com uh, complete. Uh, every variables that are we using, <coughs> I think they are clear to you that how we generate these uh, uh, variables are how we generate these uh, constants and uh, how we use master key to gen for the generation of k's and how we see. Uh, uh, CKF eyes uh, how, how, we, how we generated them so the question is uh, remaining which is uh, t dash t dash is the same that we have seen before t dash is calculated as t dash of b here will, will be t dash it is l dash of tau of b tau is as we have seen before that is the non-linear transformation right same as same as box table will, will be used for this tau and same operation will be performed and because 32 bit uh, will be divided into 8 bits and the, then 8 bits will be subdivided into upper nibble and lower nibble and they will be searched from the sub, uh, s box and we will replace that values in the, that four values uh, from this table and we will have the uh, nonlinear transformation after nonlinear transformation we will have s as an output then we will pass this that s of the non-linear transformation 
to the l dash function l dash function is more simpler than before l dash l, the, the, the here was l linear transformation right it was uh, lengthy but in this case we are having a simpler version of uh, l dash which is a linear transformation of uh, s and how it is performed it is uh, performed with s and another version 13 times uh, rotated left and then 23 times rotated left and all these are uh, zor together to form the uh, c which is uh, the linear transformation step right so in this way uh, we have uh, the c as an output so that c is uh, over here written over here all the t dash into c and this c will be zor with the k of uh, 0 to form k of 4 we, the k of 4 in case of around 0 right and another thing is that uh, the key expansion method uh, uh, um, the whole keys that are generated in this uh, step they all will be used for the encryption process and also for the decryption, decryption process but in the reverse order so in this way the whole uh, sm4 block cipher process is explained including the key expansion to you right I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, this SM4 block cipher is very uh, important and uh, uh, it is uh, consisting of uh, encryption process and decryption process and uh, uh, round function and key expansion methods and round function is uh, basically consisting of permutation and linear transformation and uh, non-linear transformation and the same transformations are used for the key expansion methodology. So, hope you have uh, enjoyed our uh, video. Oh, ho hope you have enjoyed our video, and uh, I think most of the questions are clear to you uh, about the SM4 block cipher. Uh, so, uh, if you have uh, further questions, you can write uh, in the in the comments. And if you like our video, you should share it with your, your friends. So, thanks for watching.